Where is my option okay, uh, wait. to set the image as the background? I have something to say here. You cheated. I know. It's so stressful. <laughs> What's going on, Ronnie? Come on. If you were to rate your skills from 1 to 10, how much would you give yourself? 7. I would say 5. What? Hello, guys, and welcome to the Canva Challenge episode 3. Today, we have a different challenge because we are going to challenge Ronnie's Skills. Come on. And I'm pretty excited about this. We're going to actually test your animation skills. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to show you a little animation uh -huh. and then you need to try to replicate this animation. Okay, I see. I already provided Ronnie with a document yep. that has some elements that he will need to use later uh -huh. while we are doing this challenge. We're going to have three different levels okay. so we can test you know like more uh, difficult things throughout the animation or throughout the challenge okay so let me show you the animation okay go I see okay okay all right yeah Ah, this is part of it. You have this slide already done okay. in the deck that I provided, but yeah. Okay. So I'm going to show you level one. Okay, so that was the entire thing. That's the entire thing we're going to create today, or Ronnie is going to try to create today. Okay. So let's see level one. So you have something on your screen right now. This is the document I provided, and you only have the elements, and these elements are not animated still, at all. Yeah, this is just yeah. a still so page. Okay. What you need to create in level one yep. is this we need to see this person yes jumping or wizard. this wizard jumping until the it mushroom. reaches the mushroom okay don't worry about the sound effects we yes. will add okay. them later yeah that's it yes so i, I think a... you can you can do it in two minutes and you, yeah. you will have probably time to spare all right hey siri start a two minute timer all right so i think what you did here is the create an animation this guy's like tick 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 <laughs> boom Da, 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 da. Boom. Bigger job. <laughs> okay, almost there. Like, uh, let me redo this. A few moments later. I know. This is so stressful. <laughs> What's going on, Ronnie? Come on. Okay, I need. Boom. 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 Okay, no, it's not good. Okay, last time. Two thousand years later. Okay. okay. Whew. This one is good. Okay. Done. Good, good, good. You have fifteen seconds left. Just let me preview your animation. Yeah, sure, sure, so, sure, so sure. So click play, please. Do, do, boo. There you go. Yeah, that's I think fantastic. I nailed that. Yeah, you nailed it. Thank and you. actually, two minutes was okay because you actually needed to. So maybe I explain what I did here. There is a style of animation in Canva. It's called create an animation, I think it's called. And the way this works is that I can hold my click and just like draw the path of the animation. The difficulty here is that I had to do it with a mouse. And for some reason, like I didn't have enough space right here on the desk. So I kept on missing. But you you can recreate that path and I think I nailed the last one. Yeah, you can delete the path and yeah. start, start over, over again. Yeah, so this is perfect. In level one, you actually missed just a tiny detail oh. that I, I like to do to look a little bit more professional. Mm. Sometimes it adds to smoothen, something. Smoothen yeah, the curve. So you can actually go again to the animate button and the movement styles, you can open this menu smooth. and you can go for smooth or steady. I would go for steady because smooth can be too slow at the beginning as we want something animated so try steady yeah, yeah i know that this better. is a little detail that yeah, no, it's sometimes you tend to forget okay. like people creating animations with canva sometimes good uh, tip, good tip. tend to forget this one but i think you nailed it thank you are you guys ready for level two yeah okay let me show you now what you need to create on this level two okay, okay. so we are going to continue working with the animation that you just created and yes. we're going to add something else okay so 
Pay attention, we have the animation yeah. here. You already got this one. Okay. It is at the moment on the last step with the mushroom. Right. And it's yeah. going to turn into a Zelda uh, character. Uh, okay. And you have the Zelda character on page number three. So you have... Uh, okay, and I have the gradient. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, okay, okay. And you also have the gradient. Can I see it one last time? Sure. So this is the page you already have. Yeah. And now you have to create this. Okay, yeah. How much time do I have for this? I think you can do it in just one minute. I'm good to go. Hey Siri, start a one minute timer. So I'm going to start by duplicating this page. There you go. I'm going to use this gradient and just replace the gradient here. Add this as my background. Why isn't it working? Uh, <laughs> need to do everything manually here. Okay, so I'm just gonna stretch this thing. I'm losing a bunch of time here doing things that should have snapped right in place. Okay, position, layers, this comes here. And delete this one. Okay, do, okay. So, oh no. 14 I, seconds left. But you gave me like, something that was not particularly oh no i failed you gave me too short time like too short of a time okay okay give me one minute and i will do it for you no it's fine i can do it <laughs> but it's like the wait. background should have snapped into the wait, back like wait, wait. where is my option okay, uh, wait. to set the image as the background i have something to say here you cheated no, and it is that there was a one-click trick or hack. Look at this. All you had to do to save some time, mm. it was to take this element, copy style, go to your page and click on the background. That was just one click. Yeah, but there is this option to... Yeah, but this is a shape. Okay. It's not oh, an image. I, I thought it was an image. So... Okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right. But okay. can I continue my... I'm going to give you just one minute more. Hey Siri, start a one minute timer. Okay, so it started. I need to stop the animation. So remove all animations. And this guy needs to be here. Okay, so now what I need to do is to grab this guy, copy, come here, paste, get rid of the wizard. Just put this guy right here, get rid of the wizard, push this one back like on the other side of the mushroom. Do I need to? Yeah, I need to get rid of the mushroom. And that's it. See, you got it. And we still have 27 seconds left. So yeah, well, I would have gotten it if exactly. I had understood that so this was not So I an think image. the timing was correct. One minute was fine. It's just that I know, I know that it's difficult when you are under pressure. I was. But <laughs> you okay. did a it great was fun. job. It was fun. And thank you for showing me it and was actually a custom gradient. I want to show you something here because there is a little detail missing. It's just, again, a detail transition but we are missing a transition so you see like when we go from page one to page two yeah it looks like this but if we add a transition like this one match and move okay yeah then the transition is smoother oh, okay yeah okay so this is just a detail i know that under pressure these things you tend to forget and then again if you are using a shape like ronnie did yeah. you have a little gap here on the right side it's just a tiny gap but if you do my trick to copy style, to the, copy the style gradient, then you yes. have the color of the gradient yeah. in the background yeah. of the design. But again, to my defense, I thought <laughs> it was an image and it would just snap into the background, but it was a custom gradient. Okay. And if this is the first time you're watching us, why don't you subscribe? We create new videos every week, one from Diana and one from myself. And sometimes we'd make a video together, together. like this one. All right, back to level three. I'm ready to wrap this up. Okay, level three yes. is the hardest one okay okay so try to think about shortcuts try to think about ways give me that you can time. i know i'm gonna give you enough time but i'm just saying okay if you can find a hack you know yeah. like something okay. to save time Show it do to it me. yeah okay so on level three we are going to complete this animation we have
<laughs> it's hard. Okay, and at the end, the, the flower goes back down. I'm going to show you better the video because if you see the document, you will get some hints. Okay, so you have your wizard. You make some little stars. This is something new okay. that I'm adding to this level three because okay. it's the most difficult one. So you need to change something on page number two. Okay. So you have here, you see some sparkles yeah. appearing in between the wizard and Zelda appearing. Yeah. So you have the sparkles on page number four on the, the a, resources page. This is element timing, okay. And then at some point you see Zelda that is moving. So it's moving to the other side, it's yeah. jumping back. And then when it is coming to the tube, this flower appears. Uh -huh. And then game over, he goes flying. <laughs> Okay. And then we go to the last page that it's already created for you. Okay, okay so I'm going to give you a hint because this one I know is difficult. Yeah. You already have the first two pages okay, correct. Yeah. You need to add the stars or the sparkles on page two. Yeah. And then you need to create page three where we see Zelda jumping back. Yeah. And then the flower appearing. This is page three. Yes. And page four, we see the change in the sky. Okay. And then we see Zelda flying away. Okay, how much time? Give me, like, be reasonable. I'm gonna be very generous. Yeah. Generous, because I know that you have to keep asking me questions. This, no, is, this is a lot of anything. information. Okay. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. No, five. <laughs> okay, five? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. All right. Silence. Let me concentrate. Hey Siri, start a five minute timer. Okay, I'm gonna start by duplicating this page twice. Okay, I'm going to duplicate the page twice. So here I need the little sparkles and I've seen that Diana nicely provided them to me. Okay, so they actually come here. I think that's how it was. I'm not sure if Zelda disappeared or what was going on, but... Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. Yeah. So what I said is that, look, the wizard comes to the mushroom. Yeah. When he eats the mushroom. Yeah. The sparkles, okay. we see the sparkles appearing and then just okay. half a second later we see yeah, Zelda. Okay. So yeah, I see what you mean. Let's go to page three. I need to grab the sparkle and then put them here and then need to get rid of this one. Sparkle alone. This needs to be much shorter, maybe 1.5 sec. And then on this page, Zelda appears and then it flips like this. Okay, so from here, Zelda is happy. It has flipped. So this needs to be shorter, maybe 1.5 as well. And then on this page, it should be flipped from the beginning. And then, yeah, start jumping. I'm going to create another custom animation. So it jumps here, jumps here, and it's going to hit the flower about here. Okay, all right. So need another page, duplicate page. I'm going to give you a hint. Yes, give me So hints. we have the change on the sky so let me show you this part you are here yeah and then the sky changes uh -huh. and the flower we see it coming when Zelda is arriving to the tube yeah okay so let me first change the sky on this one so the flower needs to be coming out here so let me grab the flower this is an element timing I know that so it's basically here and then I need to animate this element animate it's like a rise it's a uh, it rise from the bottom so drift baseline that's it i forgot how we make animates layer show timing show timing yes perfect so you want me to show you again or you're fine i'm fine okay so then when he's beaten by the flower yeah you see the other page appearing yep and so. then Zelda goes flying like this but the flower should not disappear so it's on enter there you go so it stays there the problem is that this guy doesn't stay there how do i keep this guy there uh oh no <laughs> I'm gonna stop this. Yeah, so I was almost, because the rest is just like another custom animation, make it swirl and that's it. And then uh, I failed to have the 
little guy on the right like forgot how to make it stop there and start my next slide there because i duplicated this slide so i'm just going to give you the answer yes please so let me go to your design so all you have to do is to remember the position of your Zelda, or yeah, you I, can also add some guides i couldn't select it I, I no it doesn't matter you just go with your guide yeah like this at the bottom of the screen and then kind of like see where he was positioned yeah and then go to the next page and position your Zelda here so you can just double check yeah okay let me remove this animation here did it pass and then go Create at the end one. Yeah. just like that it's pretty simple you know like it doesn't need to be exactly at the same pixel yeah and then the flower comes here and you remove the animation right so it, it was also there. it went back down no? the position was back behind the tube and no it didn't come back okay okay so the positioning of the elements is just slightly different than the one that i provided okay. yeah but it's basically the same yeah. and i used a different animation but we had the same outcome uh -huh. so i'm talking about the flower coming up yeah you used one of baseline. the animations yeah. called baseline and what i used here it was a custom animation so you see ah, here so the flower mm -hmm. moving up this was a custom animation so like this i was able to you know like try to position the elements at the same moment and mm -hmm. you know yeah it's nice so it's clean but we had the same outcome so it's pretty fun to see like two different brains yeah. trying to uh, create the same animation with different yeah. tools okay and then the other thing that i saw Should on your design yeah i know i know so look at this my animation on page two i actually worked with this show timing okay you were looking for it yeah, everywhere for, it for two minutes and yeah i believe that could be improved you know this is some kind of animation tool so yeah, yeah it could be in the animated menu i believe right. yeah but it is hidden it's when you right click. right click you select the elements that you want to animate right click and, and then that, show timing bad ui so this is what i was saying you know like yeah. when we go to page number two we only see the sparkles at the beginning and then we see the Zelda. Right. So that's why I have only one page for these two animations. Yeah, yeah. And then on the next page, I flipped the yeah. Zelda. So I just clicked on the element and, you flipped, it. and flipped it. Yeah. And then on the same page, I created these two custom animations. Okay. So I didn't create an extra page to flip it. Okay. And then I moved the Zelda and the flower. Yeah. And then on the next page, I worked on this custom animation. Beautiful. And okay. you know how to make it? flip like that uh yes there's a, a slider for that somewhere in the custom path aha uh -huh. so it's this one when you go to custom animation orient element to path yeah. if you leave it off yeah, oriented on the path yeah okay yeah Just and then if you click on it. this toggle your element will be okay. you know like flipping around okay i like it and then we have this transition and the animation nice i would say i got a b plus <laughs> for this one if you were to rate your skill from 1 to 10 how much will you give yourself 7 yeah i would say 5 uh, no what? no i was going five. to say 7.5 ah thank you but yeah you're nice I'm and, and i do ag i do agree that the pressure also takes a lot of space on yeah. your brain and I mean, you you've freak been out. working on this for what for 2 hours and then you asked me to do it in 3 minutes <laughs> <laughs> okay that's good uh, i just want to ask you guys yeah how much will you rate Ronnie's skills? Taking into consideration the pressure that I gave him with the timer and all of that. Yeah, okay. Well, I <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Very much liked your challenge. This Ooh. was fun. And I'm now I'm going to prepare your challenge <laughs> for the next one. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in, in the, the next, next video. Tutorial. Video. <laughs> tutorial. Video. I say tutorial. Okay, good. Bye.